What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man, Chaz Ellis, once again, giving you the information that you asked me for. Um, I got a really good question, and it was from a dude that said he feels like everybody is passing him by. He tells me that he feels like all his friends and family members are doing better than him right now, and he said he's working very hard towards his goal of owning his own business, and his friends and family are just seem to be passing them by. They got good jobs. They got cars. They got all kinds of stuff. He said that his friends and family is kind of talking trash to him a little bit, telling him to get his life together. He said he's been working towards his own business for a couple years now. He's starting to get it off the ground. It's starting to work out for him. He feels like he's got a good future with it, but it's not popping as quick as some other people's stuff did. And they kind of going in on him a little bit. I'm going to say this to you. This is for everybody out there with a dream. Whatever your dream is in life, there's always going to be somebody to tell you that it's not going to work, that it's stupid, that it's too big or it's too small. There's always going to be somebody to tell you you're too short, you're too tall, you're too fat, you're too skinny. There's always going to be somebody out there telling you that whatever it is that you want to do in life, is invalid for some reason. That's how life works. It's not people's fault. It's just the way it is. And we're all out here living different dreams because we're built differently. We all have different things that we want in life, different things that we're good at. And some of y'all that have got a dream to graduate from college. Some of y'all want to be the first person in your family to graduate from high school. Some of y'all, like him, want to own your own business. Some people want to play in the NBA. Some people want to be rappers. Some people want to be doctors. Some people want to be lawyers. It's a whole bunch of different dreams out there that people have. And that's the way it is, and that's good. Everybody ain't supposed to dream the same dream. But the problem that we have is that we often compare ourselves to other people when we're not dreaming the same dream. That's one of the leading causes of failure in life is comparing yourself to other people because you are not living the same dream. You are not dreaming the same dream. You don't have the same wishes, hopes. It's kind of like this. If you really think about it, life is like a track meet. Um, if you've ever been to a track meet, you know that there are a bunch of different events. There are a bunch of different races. Um, when you're running a race, I remember when I was young, I was in high school. I was pretty good at the 100 meter and the 200 meter dash. And I had a problem in the 200 though when I first started running it. Um, one of the things I used to do was every time I would get a good lead, I would look back. And if somebody was ahead of me and somebody might be a little bit behind me, I would look back and try to see where the other person was, so that gauged how fast I needed to run. I thought that was a pretty good strategy. Um, but my coach was like, what are you doing? He said, every time you do that, you know you slow down. There's no way you could turn your back or turn your head and run full speed. That's not even possible. I was like, what, really? I think I'm doing... He was like, no, you're just slowing yourself down. I couldn't stop myself from doing it, though. So what he does is he goes and gets um, some cardboard with um, cloth over it, and he makes this head piece, this headset type thing. And he takes it, and he puts it on my head. And the cardboard is like two slabs that are out to the side that make it basically like, like blinders on a horse. And I didn't know that horses wore blinders, because I, I still don't know anything about horses. <clears throat> but anyway, it made it, it, and he put it on my face like this. So anytime I would try to turn and look at somebody, I couldn't see crap. I turned around, I couldn't see nothing. It didn't matter how far I turned, I couldn't see. If I turned this way, couldn't see anything. If so, the only thing I could really do was look straight ahead. I ran my races like that in practice all the time. He would never let me take that off. As a matter of fact, throughout the entire time I wore track, I ran track, I was never allowed to take that off during practice. I wore that all the time. It got to the point where... I couldn't look over my shoulder as I was running if I wanted to because I just would imagine that I couldn't see anything. It reprogrammed me to be that way and I became a lot faster. I started getting better time because all I was doing was running against the clock. All I was doing was going to the finish line. 
nothing else. I wasn't worried about who was around me. That's kind of how life is. When you're worried about who's around you, it's slowing you down. But as I said before, life, the crazy thing about life is when you're looking around worrying about other people running the race, y'all ain't even all running the same race. So a lot of times you might be the dude but trying to work on his own business and another person might have got out of high school and just got a job real quick. They may already have a crib. Well, you guys aren't running the same race. You're over here trying to be in competition. You're running a marathon and you're trying to be in competition with a dude that just ran a, that's running a 100 meter dash. Yeah, he's jumping up and down at the finish line, but he ran 100 meters and you're running a marathon. You're not running the same race. There's no way you can run in the same way he did. There's no way you're going to finish at the same time he does. He's finished. Yeah, he's jumping up and down at the finish line because his race was shorter. Y'all didn't run the same race. And that's where a lot of people run into a problem is because you start feeling like, I want to give up. I want to get the things that this person has um, because clearly my life is going bad because I didn't do, I haven't accomplished what they accomplished so fast. They ran a different race. Their race was shorter than yours. That's life. Maybe their race may not have been as prestigious. Maybe their race may not have been something that everyone's going to go, oh man, that's great that you finished. I mean, how often do you ever meet a person that finished a marathon? That's pretty freaking incredible. When you run into a person that finished a marathon, you're like, man, that's that's incredible. Dude, you killed it. You know, when you meet somebody that, won, that finished a 100 meter dash, you kind of be like, okay, did you win? You know, that's kind of how it is. But there's no race that's not necessarily worse than another one, but it's just that they're different. And the problem a lot of people run into is you take a different strategy into your race. You're letting other people tell you like, oh, you need to get a house. Why don't you got a house yet? Uh, why didn't you go get this degree? Uh, why didn't you go buy a car yet? You don't even have a nice car. What's up with that? That's what they have because they may be your age. They may be in your situation. That's what they have because they ran a different race. You decide on something different. You may be 19, 20 years old and your friend already got a car and you're still in college. And you're like, well, man, damn, I don't got a car or a house. I'm living at my mama's house. I must be messing up. Well, he ran a different race than you did. He, his may not take him as far. But where you're going to run into a problem is when you start trying to take his strategies into your race. That's your race. You decided to run a marathon. He decided to run the 40-yard dash. He decided to run a 60-meter. You start trying to take his strategies into your race, it ain't going to work. You go out there and be like, well, I'm going to just mortgage everything I got and go buy a car so I can have one. I'm going to go just go deep into debt so I can get a house so I can have one so I can keep up with these people and feel like we on the same, pl the same plane and I'm not lower than them. Or I'm not doing worse. Or I'm not falling behind. <clears throat> you go do that, that's 100-meter strategy. That works for him. He's good. He chose to run 100 meters. That's not working for your marathon. Have you ever, 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 ever in your life saw somebody go to a marathon, start out running, get down on, their, on all fours, roll their shoulders forward, stick their butt up in the air, and just take off? You ever seen somebody do that in a damn, in a damn marathon? No. Because if you ever did that in a marathon by about 100 meters... You would be totally burnt out, jello legged, and you'd have to stop running. It's over. You lost. There's no possible way you're going to win a race like that. Can't nobody run a marathon that fast. But you can uh, in a 100 meter. You're taking the wrong strategy into your race. They're giving you advice on how to win their race. They're telling you how to win their race, how they run. The strategies of how to use your arms to win that race. When to pull your head up to win that race. That's not how you win your race. You got to run your race your way. And you got to run it with blinders on. Don't worry about nobody behind you. Don't worry about nobody beside you. Don't even worry about nobody in front of you. You just run towards that finish line because that's yours. That's what you're supposed to do. It's your race. And whether you win, you're going to win if you finish. Because that's all it is. You're not running against nobody else. You're running against the clock. You're running against your own insecurities. You're running against what's going on internally. You could close your eyes. You could put on a blindfold and run. As a matter of fact, you don't even... If you really take a real track meet, you don't even really need people next to you. 
All you could do is all run by yourselves and take the times, and that would count. You don't even need anybody else. So when you run your race, when you live your life, when you try to make your dreams come true, whatever that dream may be, you make sure you're doing it according to your strategy and your dream. And don't worry about what somebody else want to put in there or what somebody else is accomplishing. That's their race. And that's good that they're winning their race. Be happy for them. Be proud of them. But keep running yours. Once again, it's your man, Chaz Ellis. I want to make sure that all of y'all support me on Indiegogo. You got like eight days left. All right? Everybody support Indiegogo. For those of you who, and what you're doing right now is just supporting the Chaz Ellis Project, supporting um, As Chaz Ellis Presents, the Game Plan Atlanta, supporting As Chaz Ellis. Anytime you support anything, any event, you're supporting As Chaz Ellis as a whole and helping me to keep doing this. What we're going to do with the next um, with the next seminar or class is we're going to have you guys pick it and whatever you guys want to do, that's what we're going to do. All right. If you want to do it over breakups, if you want to do it over self-esteem, whatever you guys want to do, that's what we're going to do. All right. Uh, make sure you support that though and keep it going. A lot of you bought your tickets online. I put this on Facebook because some of y'all might not be on Facebook. A lot of you already bought your tickets on the Chaz Ellis Project dot com okay and some of you were like man i bought mine on chazelsproject.com and not on indiegogo that's messed up because i didn't get any of the perks don't worry you know i'm not gonna do you like that i got you for the ones of you that bought your tickets on the chazelsproject.com instead of indiegogo because you bought them a little bit too early or not too early but you bought them earlier than everybody else did i got you you're gonna get the same perks they got okay for the ones of you who bought it in the first week you're gonna get a free ticket, you're also going to get a DVD, and you're going to get the same perks that, you know, they got on um, Indiegogo. I got you. You know I'm going to take care of you. I'm your boy. What's up? Alright, once again, it's your man, Chazos. Make sure that you continue to support, because for everybody who buys a ticket to this event now, here it is. Space permitting. You're going to have to come early. You don't have to hit it up early. For everybody who buys a ticket to this event or who buys the live stream or whatever, you're going to get it to the next event also. I got you. You're going to have to hit me up. There's going to be a deadline of when you can hit it up, okay? Because, you know, don't try to come at the last minute the day before like, oh, I want to come now. Stop. All right. I got you. All right. Make sure you go to Indiegogo and support As Chaz Ellis Presents the Game Plan Atlanta Make sure you support that. Even if you're not interested in that particular class, you're going to help propel the other ones. Because in the future, we want to be able to make it to where everybody can come for free. Everybody who's been supporting thus far. Once again, it's your man, Chaz Ellis. Peace.